Hey, this is Joshua from Statamic. Today I would like to show you a new feature that we shipped with Statamic 4.8 that helps you to improve your endless templates and identify potential bottlenecks in your template's performance. It's called the Endless Performance Profiler and is an extension to the popular Laravel debug bar. The debug bar comes by default with Statamic and with a lot of other application skeletons for Laravel. Otherwise, you can just install it via Composer. At this stage, we still call the feature experimental and are really interested in your feedback on it. Let's have a look on how to set it up, look at its features and how you can use it to improve your template's performance with a simple example. First, make sure the debug bar is installed, as you can see here. And whether it's enabled or not is usually set by an env variable like this one. We also have a dedicated config setting in the antlers.php file. If you want to disable the antlers pro profiler for some reason, if you don't see the config key in your file, just edit yourself and make sure to clear the config after making changes to it. So let's look at an example. I set up a simple page with a starter kit and you can see the new endless tab in the debug bar shows up here. When we open it, we see various stats and a graph with a type timeline on top. And the total number of expressions processed, for example, and there is a tree view with a hierarchy showing your views and variables and tags with lots of useful stats. When clicking on one of those items, which could be a variable or tag, for example, you see more details about it, like here. One of the things I find super rad and useful is that it shows the source file and respective line number, so I don't need to look or search for it. For a specific example to show how this can help you improve your template performance and find potential bottlenecks, I created a computed value, which is a super neat feature of Statamic, by the way. Let's have a look at the code. It lives in this service provider's boot method. And this is the computed value. It simulates an API call and API calls can be expensive in resources and can take a while. For this example, it uses the sleep function for one second, but this could also be an API call to an external third party API or even multiple ones accumulating their response times. So let's go back to the browser and refresh, and this could take a few seconds. Wow, this really took quite a long time. And as you can see here, the endless profiler gives us a hint that this part right here is not really performant by marking it red. We can see where this happens and go on a hunt to improve this code. For the, this simple example, let's switch this cached boolean back to true. Go back to the browser. And as you can see, it's fast again. This is just a super simple example, but the Endless Profiler can really help you to improve performance and debug your templates. Have a look at our documentation on it, or browse the full pull request for some super in-depth details on its implementation and how it works. Also, a big thank you to John Costa who put in a lot of work and effort to make this happen. Thanks for watching and stay rad.